Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the Google Class Future to your app. Now let's add the Google Class Future to your app. Go to my Futures section, click on View All and search Google Class. Click on the Future to add it to your app. This is your future name. If you want you can change it as per your needs. From here you can change the future icon. If you want you can select a solid icon or outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Let's configure Google Class, but before you configure, you will need a G Suite admin account. You can click on this link to verify your admin account. Now you'll be guided through the simple steps to configure the Google Class future. Let's move to the first step. For the first step, you will need to upload G Suite Google Firebase files of your G Suite account. Upload JSON file for your Android app in and plist file for your iOS app. You can click the I icon here to refer to our tutorial for creating the Firebase JSON file. Ensure to follow the tutorial thoroughly and when adding Firebase to your Android, you will need to set up Android client ID using your app package name and provide the SHA1 certificate fingerprint key. You can obtain the app package name and the SHA1 key using the tutorial. How to create a Firebase JSON file. After creating the JSON file by following the steps of the tutorial, now upload it here. You have successfully uploaded the JSON file. You will see the confirmation text. Similarly, click the eye icon here and refer to our tutorial for creating the Firebase plist file. Now upload the plist file here and you will see the confirmation text. Please note if you have already created a JSON file then you need to create your plist file with the same Firebase project that you use while creating JSON file. You can also update the, update the uploaded JSON and plist files. Click here and you'll be redirected to the settings section. Here are your Google Firebase credentials. If you want you can delete the uploaded files from here. Now let's go back to the Google Class content section. Once you have successfully uploaded the JSON and plist files, move to the next step. In the second step, you need to provide the web client ID and secret key. Enter the Google web client ID and secret key in the respected fields. Click on the I icon to refer to our step-by-step -step procedure for obtaining the Google web client ID and secret key. Please note, when obtaining the client ID and secret key, you will also need to add scopes in the authorization content screen for your Firebase project on Google Console. All the scopes to be added are provided in the tutorial, how to find Google Web Client ID and secret key. Once you have added the credentials, click on Next. This is the final step where you need to connect your Firebase project to the G Suite account. Now click on Connect. Select a G Suite account and click on Allow to allow the Firebase project to access your Google account. Just to inform you, the Connect account must be a G Suite admin account. If you want, you can also disconnect your G Suite account by clicking the Disconnect button. Now let's go to the Google Classroom backend. Log into the classroom.google.com and create a class for the students. With Google Classroom, the teachers can manage classes, collect assignments, course materials, student work, and provide timely feedback. This is the Google Classroom dashboard. Click on the plus icon here to create a class. Enter the class name, section, subject, and room, and then click on create. Here is the class code. Teachers can invite students to the class using the code, and they can also generate meeting link. From here, teachers can post announcements for the students, enter the text, attach files, or link, and click on post. As soon as the teachers post an announcement, the post will be reflected on the student's app. Now let's move to the Classwork tab. From here, the teachers, teachers can create assignments and questions, organize classwork into units using topics, and organize the classwork. Next, click on People to invite students or teachers. Teachers can send an invitation link to the students from here. Similarly, they can invite teachers as well. Under the Grades tab, teachers can see the grades for each assignment 
and this is how the teachers can manage the class and other activities from the Google Classroom backend. Now let's go back to the Appy Pies Creator software and check other settings of the Google Class feature. From here, you can upload a login image which will be displayed on the authentication screen once the user opens the Google Class feature on the app. Coming to the CMS settings section, here you can add terms and conditions and privacy policy for the Google Class feature. Enter your desired text in the terms and conditions and privacy policy text box. Next comes language settings. Under language settings, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up on the app. For instance, if you want the term and conditions text to be displayed as TNC on the app, then you can change the text from here and the required change will be reflected on the app. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of the Google Class feature. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. Next, click on advanced style and navigation. Here you can set the page elements, color, and font size. Once you're done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.